welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar 2 as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham satchidanandam वंदेहम यो खिलन जगत चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम यो खिलन जगत चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया इन द previous lecture we have seen what is not samartha and therefore what is not eligible to be compounded we said there that the answer to this question what is samartha is twofold one samartha means capable of and two samartha means having the same meaning samaha arthaha we studied the first meaning capable of and we studied what is not capable of getting compounded we said that the words in the sentence playing different roles in the accomplishment of an action we said that the meanings which play different roles in the accomplishment of an action even though they are interlinked with the verbal action denoting word and the meaning they are not compounded as a general rule and the karakas themselves are not interlinked therefore they can not also be compounded now in this lecture we shall see what is the meaning of capable of and what all can get compounded there was one very important uh, conclusion that we reached in the previous lecture when we said that the karakas cannot be compounded with the action denoting word with the thing suffix let us elaborate this further and in this context let us see how the karakas get compounded with another set of suffixes added to the verbal root denoting action so the first meaning of samartha is capable of that is capable of expressing the interconnected meanings a word unit capable of expressing the interconnected meanings is the is what is called as samartha or capable of pratipadika a nominal root on its own is not samartha as it cannot express the interconnected meanings on its own without the pratyaya getting added to it so a pratipadika has to be a pada that is a subanta 
and a dhatu has to be a tinganta which is then capable of expressing the interconnected meanings so for example pitambaraha prayagat kashim gachati and rathena kartika mase pujanaya kashim gachati this was the sentence that we studied earlier now if we add certain words with the krit suffixes after the verbal roots then they become interconnected and also eligible to be compounded so if we say pitambaraha prayagat nirgatah रथेन प्रापितः समागते कार्तिकमासे देवस्य पूजनाय काशीम गच्छति इफ वी एक्सपांड अवर सेंटेंस लाइक दिस विद द मीनिंग नेमली हरि हु वेंट आउट ऑफ प्रयाग बीइंग टेकन देयर बाय द चैरियट in the arrived month of kartika goes to kashi for the worship of god here there are sets of words indicated in different colors in order to highlight the fact that the words nirgata prapita samagata and devasya they show a different feature which is quite close to what is samartha the words nirgata prapita samagata pujana are derived from the verbal roots gama aap gama and puja to worship gama to go aap to reach gama to go and puja to worship by adding the suffixes the and an so nirgata is derived by adding the suffix the to the verbal root gama with the preverb nir prapita is derived by adding the suffix the to the verbal root ap with the preverb pr and also the causative samagata is derived by adding the suffix the to the verbal root gama with two preverbs sam and a pujana is derived by adding the suffix ana to the verbal root puja these suffixes namely ta and ana are termed krut by ashtadhyayi 3193 and the words thus formed by adding these suffixes are called kridanta words so nirgata prapita samagata and pujana these are all kridanta words these kridanta words become nominal roots or pratipadikas by ashtadhyayi 1246 so these words become pratipadikas and then eventually they also become subantas they have peculiar characteristics semantically they denote an action formally however they are nominal root thus we observe that they retain both the features namely denoting action involving karakas and getting interlinked with other meanings and words and also be subantas that is extremely crucial 
So if we write the same sentence with the suffixes mentioned, we can say that we have Pitamara plus Su plus Ratha plus Ta plus plus Pra plus Apa plus Ta plus Su plus Deva plus Gnas plus Puja plus Ana plus Nge plus Prayaga plus Gnasi plus Nir plus Gama plus Ta plus Su plus Sam plus A plus Gama plus Ta plus Nge plus Kartika Masa plus Nge plus Kashi plus Am plus Gama plus T. Here we write down the same sentence in terms of the Prakriti and the Vibhakti Pratyaya. Pitambara is the Prakriti, Su is the Vibhakti Pratyaya and so on and so forth. Now, the words which were mentioned in particular colors where the Kridanta word was used, they now become Samartha. They are capable of getting compounded. They are capable of expressing the interconnected meaning and therefore they are eligible to be compounded. And once we compound these words, prayagat nirgataha, we get the compound prayaga nirgataha. Rathena prapitaha, we get the compound ratha prapitaha. Samagate kartika mase, and we get the compound samagata kartika mase. Deva pujanaya, and we get the compound Deva Pujana Kashim Gachati. So, Prayaga Nirgataha, in which Prayaga is related to the action of going, denoted by the verbal root Gama with the preverb Nir, shows that they are interrelated words. Similarly, Ratha Prapitaha, Ratha and Prapita are interrelated and so also are Samagata and Kartika Masa. Similarly, also Deva Pujana. So we have these compounds. Now, if we expand the same sentence further, for understanding what is Samartha and this is the second answer or second explanation and we also use the scheme of colors over here to demarcate certain set of words for example Prapta, Vidya, Yena Saha, Pitambaraha, Punyaha, Sangamaha, Yatra, Tasmat Prayagat, Tivraha, Vegaha, Yasya, Tena Rathena, Shite, Kartikamase, Shaktim, Anatikramya, Chakram, Panau, Yasya, Tasya Devasya Pujanaya, Pavitram, Palam, Yasyaha, Tam Kashim, Gachati. This means Hari who has obtained knowledge or learning from the great Prayaga which hosts the holy confluence by the chariot whose speed is sharp in the cold month of Kartika goes to Kashi which gives holy results for the worship of God who holds a chakra in his hand 
in accordance with his capability so now prapta vidya yena saha an pitambara punya sangamaha yatra tasmat an prayagat tivraha vegaha yasya tena an rathena shaktim anatikramya chakram panau yasya tasya an devasya pavitram phalam yasya tam an kashim these are the words capable of expressing the interconnected meaning and therefore they are eligible to be compounded let us study these one by one prapta vidya yena sah pitambarah this is the first set of words in a different color prapta vidya yena sah now here we have the word prapt with the verbal root ap whose karta is pitambar punya sangama yatra tasmat prayagat so prayag is the location of the sangama the confluence which is holy tivraha vegah yasya tena rathena sheet is the qualifier of kartika mas shaktim anatikramya is a peculiar construction where the words shaktim and anatikramya they both are interrelated similarly chakram panau yasya tasya devasya so chakram panau yasya tasya and devasya these are the words which are interconnected similarly pavitram phalam yasyaha tam kashim these words are also interconnected and then we have the verb gachati now prapta vidyayana sah pitambaraha in this prapta vidyayana sah qualifies pitambaraha punya sangama yatra tasmat prayagat in this punya sangama yatra tasmat qualifies prayagat in tivraha vegah yasya tena rathena tivraha vegah yasya tena qualifies rathena as we said earlier prapta vidya yena sah tells us something more about pitambar punya sangama yatra tasmat gives us some additional information about prayag and tivraha vegah yasya tena also gives us more information about rath so all these sets of words are interconnected with the respective other words that were already used in the sentence similarly in shite kartika mase shite qualifies kartika mase in shaktim anatikramya we have shaktim anatikramya which qualifies poojanaya a very peculiar kind of construction now in chakram panau yasya tasya devasya poojanaya chakram panau yasya tasya qualifies devasya in pavitram phalam yasya tam kashim pavitram phalam yasya tam qualifies kashim so sheet provides additional information about kartika mas 
Shaktim Anatikramya also gives us some additional information about Pujana. Similarly, Chakram Pano Yasya Tasya also provide information about Devasya. And Pavitram Phalam Yasya Tam, this also provides additional information about Kashi. All these, they are the qualifiers of the respective qualifieds. They have this particular relationship. So now we have the process of compounding taking place as they are capable of expressing the interconnected meanings. So we have Prapta Vidya plus Su and Pitambara plus Su. So Prapta Vidya Yenasaha is compounded into Prapta Vidya, which is a Pratipadika, and then Supratyaya is added to it in accordance with the Supratyaya that is added after the word Pitambara, which it qualifies. Similarly, Punyaha Sangamaha Yatra Tasmat. So this gets compounded in the form of Punya Sangama and then the suffix Gnasi is added to it in accordance with the suffix Gnasi which is added after Prayaga which is qualified by Punya Sangama. Similarly, Tivraha Vegaha Yasya Tena gets compounded into Tivra Vega to which is added the suffix ta in accordance with the suffix ta added to ratha which is qualified by tivra vega. Sheeta is added with the suffix ni in accordance with the suffix ni added to kartika masa which is qualified by sheeta. Similarly, chakrapani is added with the v- suffix nasi in accordance with the suffix nasi that is added after the word teva. Now yatha shakti is a peculiar compound that is formed to which is added the suffix su as a per, as a particular prescription which we shall study later on and pujana is added with the suffix nge as per the requirement in the sentence. Pavitram phalam yasyaha gets compounded into pavitra phala as a pratipadika and stri pratyayanta shapta to which is added the suffix am in accordance with the suffix am added after the word kashi which is qualified by pavitra phala. And then of course we have gachati which remains as it is. So now these are the compounded words prapta vidya, punya sangama, tivra vega. These three they are the bahuvrihi compounds. Chakrapani is also a bahuvrihi compound. Yatha Shakti is the example of avyayi bhava compound. Pavitra phala is once again an example of the bahuvrihi compound. Here it is clear that the samasas that we are going to study in this particular course namely avyayi bhava, bahurihi and dvandva when their process of derivation happens, these factors come into play. So, Prapta Vidya qualifies Pitambara, Punya Sangama qualifies Prayaga, Tivra Vega qualifies Ratha, Chakrapani qualifies Deva, and Pavitra Phala qualifies Kashi. 
Now, meanings. Now we can draw the conclusion that meanings with qualified qualifier relation are interlinked. So they are samartha. They are capable of expressing the interlinked meaning. So they are samartha and so they become eligible to be compounded. So we have the sentence Prapta vidyaha pitambaraha punya sangamat prayagat tivra vegena rathena shite kartika mase chakrapani devasya yathashakti pujanaya pavitra phalam kashim gachati. After having studied the second answer to the question what is samartha, now let us look at another explanation. So we take prapta vidya yana saha once again. Now we also provide pitam ambaram yasya saha ramam lakshmanam cha dine dine pasyati. What it means is, educated Hari, who has yellow robe, sees Rama and Lakshmana every day. Prapta Vidya Yenasaha is educated Hari or learned Hari, who has yellow robe is the meaning of Pitam Ambaram Yasyasaha, sees Pashyati, Ramam Lakshmanam cha, Rama, Rama and Lakshmana, Dine dine, that is every day. If we take this sentence, we observe that prapta vidya yena saha has got a kridanta word prapta of which vidya is the karma and yena indicates the karta. Pitam ambaram yasya saha has got Ambaram in Prathama and Yasya in Shashti, so showing the interrelation of Swaswami Bhava, owner and owned. Ramam Lakshmanam Cha shows the Sambandha interlinkage of Itare Tara Yoga nature between Rama and Lakshmana. Dine Dine shows the repetition or vipsa in the explanation of dinner. So, these are the interrelated meanings in these words and so we can write down these words in the form of the Prakriti Pratyaya formation in the following manner. So, we have Prapta plus Su plus Vidya plus Su, plus Pita plus Su, plus Ambara plus Su, plus Rama plus Am, plus Lakshmana plus Am, Prati plus Su, plus Dina plus Ni, and Pashyati. So, Prapta, Vidya, both of them have Su Pratyaya added, Pita and Ambara also have Su Pratyaya added. Rama and Lakshmana are the words where Am is added. The important point over here is that in case of Dine Dine, one occurrence of Dina is substituted by the word Prati. And so we have Prati plus Su plus Dina plus Ni and Pashyati. With this, in this context, meanings of Prapta and Vidya, Pita and Ambara, Rama and Lakshmana, Prati and Dina are interlinked through the suffixes and hence they are Samartha and so they become eligible to be compounded. And then we get the sentence Prapta Vidya Pitambara Rama Lakshmana Pratidinam Pashyati Prapta Vidyaha Pitambara Rama Lakshmanao Pratidinam Pashyati 
सो प्राप्त विद्या एज वेल एज पीतांबर इज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ बहुव्रीहि समास रामलक्ष्मण इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द्वंद्व समास प्रतिदिन इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अव्ययी भाव समास so we observe that meanings of kridantas and interlinked karakas meanings of qualifier qualified relations meanings of various relations denoted by the cases are samartha and are eligible for undergoing the process of compounding or samasa in conclusion we can say that the process of compounding is based on this samartha theory samartha theory is based on the karaka theory by default thus embedded in the sentential structure with sentence as input and nominal root as primary output and sentence as an eventual output the process of compounding thus from the back end up to the front end can be summed up by saying vakyad vakyam samasanam these are the references thank you